A warm greetings to one and all. Hi, this is Akshay from Naresh IT and today we are going to discuss about interview tips. My dear student, interview is that moment uh, which we are waiting from like six to four months, like why we are preparing for software and all those things. But for that interview, we have to follow certain tips and in this video, we are going to discuss about which are that tips. The very first tip is do your research. For every interview, we require a research like who is the owner of the company, how many employees are working in the company, from how much, what is like opening of the company has been started, where is the headquarter of the company and so and so. This is what research, that means what we require a basic knowledge for a company. That means what, I, what are the points which I have mentioned within the research. Next is attire. Your attire matter a lot. My dear student, you might have heard this thing like first impression is a last impression. That's what we use whenever we are going somewhere. We used to be a ready. We used to be a ready like anything. We used to wear a good shirt and all those things. And we used to show that, yes, I am impressive one. So for that interview also, we required an attire. Attire means what? You should have to wear a trouser, a shirt, again, a tie and shoes. It's, it should be a formal attire. Your attire matter a lot. Why? Because first impression is always the last impression. Next is arrive early. Arrive early means what? Not so much early, but at the time, at the time, wherever your name should be recover, uh, recall. So at that time, you should have to be there. You should have to be present on the moment where you have to give an interview. That is what early, arrive early. Arrive early, that doesn't mean arrive so much early, but you have to be, you have to be present at interview on time. The next thing is that be conscious body language. My dear student, you have seen my body language video in uh, the previous video, you might have seen. Body language means what? Body language means what? You don't have to be nervous while sitting on the chair. You need to be lean forward. That is erect posture you have to keep. This is what? A positive body language. You have to exchange smiles. You have to maintain your eye contact and each and everything should be very good. So it shows that you are having a better presentation skills within your Conscious body language, which required you people, okay? Next is, don't ask about the package. Package. See, I know these things that professional life. Professional life doesn't mean only for money. Why? Because professional life is, uh, professional life is related to our career. So for that reason, don't ever ask about the package. If the HR person themselves are asking, like how much you expect, how much salary you expect, at that time, you have to tell as a fresher, how much salary you people are giving. So for that reason, what you have to do, don't ask about the package from your side. If they are asking, then only tell, sir, as a fresher, how much you people are giving. This is what a better answer for your package. Don't ask about package. If you are experienced, then tell that, uh, they tell that in previous company, I was getting this, this. So in this company, I would like to be have a package of this, this much of amount. Next is what? Be honest. Be honest. Be honest means what? whatever you have mentioned in the resume, it should be very true according to your knowledge as well as according to a general knowledge. Why? Because, see, be honest. If you mention your skills, if you mention your hobbies under your resume, like I like to play football, cricket and all this. So, be ready for asking, be ready for giving answer of the questions like according to your hobby if the people will be asking. So, for that reason, we require these things that be honest whatever you know whatever you are just represent that things on resume and moreover i would like to add whenever you are mentioning your career objective on your resume it should be very true according to your knowledge and it should be very perfect don't copy it from internet why because career objective uh, career objective should be different it should be different it should be your own what is your objective that is according to your career which is nothing but career object inside your resume why because hr people what now they are doing they are just performing they are just what uh, writing down the career objective by their own word they are posting on internet and what we people are doing we people are just taking that career objective and we are mentioning on our resume as it is that is no use my dear student you people are going you people are fresher you people are going to start your new journey of your career so for that reason your career objective should be individual according to your point of view the next point again i'm talking about be honest be honest honest means what 
it means that you have to tell a true answer. So what if you don't know any answer? So at that time, if you don't know any answer, you have to, you don't have to tell in this way, like, sorry, sir, I don't know. You have to tell in this way, sorry, sir, I have not checked it. Why? Because there is a difference. Sorry, sir, I don't know. And sorry, sir, I have not checked it. The sorry, sir, I don't know. It shows that you are not up to the mark. Sorry, sir, I have not checked it. It means that you have done preparation, but you have not checked it. It means it shows a positive side of a employee. So for that reason, be honest. Clear everyone? So these are what points. Again, I am telling to you people, do your research. You need to re research about the company. You need to do research about the company. Means what? When the company, uh, when the company has been started, who is the owner of the company, how many employees are working in the company, who is the MD, HR. This is what a basic knowledge you can get from internet. Again, attire. You should have to be, you should have to wear a good attire. attire. Your hairstyle should be very proper. You should have to be clean shaved person. Next, at inside attire only, it comes like no use of this boys are nowadays using. So these kind of things you have to keep in mind. Again, your hairstyle and uh, like sh you have to wear a formal trouser, formal shirt, tie, everything should be proper. Next is what? Arrive early. Be on time on the day of interview. Next, be conscious body language. Your body language should be very positive. You have to exchange smile. You have to keep eye contact. You have to maintain your body language in erect posture while sitting on the chair. And it should have to be like a professional one. Next is what? Don't ask about the package. Money don't matter for a job. What matter is what? how much skills you are applying for a fresher, I mean to tell. Next is what? Be honest. Whatever the knowledge you are having, speak about the truth about it. Thank you for watching this video under Narish IT. Thank you.